Hello, welcome to a priori story time. Yeah, little bunny with us who hops, not surprisingly. And today is a Tibetan tale. So we're going to invite Texadillo to join us for this one because he's an expert in Tibetan Buddhism and Tibetan snake boxing. So to watch out for that. You guys ready? All right. Once upon a time, on the top of a mountain which was quite flat and covered with grass and flowers, a frog and a rabbit were playing around having a good time. In the midst of their fun, they found a beautiful golden pot. The frog exclaimed, See what I have found, it's all mine! What a lot of money I shall have. The rabbit said angrily, it's mine, I saw it first. And soon they were fighting fiercely. But all at once the rabbit stopped and remarked, this won't do. Let's go to the foot of the mountain and race back to the top. And the one that gets here first and gets in the pot shall have it tomorrow will be the day of the race. The rabbit was sure of success. <laughs> because he knew he could run and was certain the frog couldn't. The frog knew well enough he couldn't possibly win in that kind of race. So he thought of a scheme. He found two of his friends exactly like himself in every way. One he took to the top of the mountain and put in the pot. The other he placed halfway down the mountain and located himself at the base. When the rabbit came next morning and they were ready to start, the frog gave a few hops while the rabbit skipped ahead. Much to his astonishment, when he got halfway up the mountain, there was the frog hopping wildly along in front of him. He said to himself, I must do better than this. And away he flew like the wind. But on reaching the summit, there sat the frog in the pot. The rabbit had lost the race and also the gold. Now the frog didn't know how to get that big pot down the mountain. And while he was puzzling over it, a big duck, very dark and colored, with mouse-colored breast, flew over him. Stopped a minute and asked his trouble. The frog told him what was the matter and asked if he could carry the pot to the bottom of the mountain. The duck said he could and would do so if he might have half. As there was nothing else to be done, the frog agreed and the duck carried it down for him. So there it was divided and the duck thought it was so beautiful that he took his half and smeared it on his breast. And that's where the sacred duck got his beautiful golden breast. Thank you, Texadillo. Thank you very much, everybody. There's a little proverb in Tibet. It says, when life ends, you may arise and have peace with Tara. Nevertheless, it is a great calamity when the rock rolls down the mountain and takes your life. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Thank you, Texadello, for being a bonus fuzzy.